In the glittering labyrinth of Hollywood, where every corner turned can lead to fame or obscurity, the label of being difficult looms large, a shadow that can darken the brightest careers, especially for black artists. All I know is we were number one, uh, number one black show when we went off the air. They took us off, we didn't even finish the last season. We, they took us off like around uh, Christmas or something. Similarly, T.C. Carson, a black actor, has faced many problems and controversies. His career shows how the entertainment world often uses talented actors for its own benefit and then leaves them behind, sometimes ruining their careers. And not even five minutes later, my phone rings. It's my lawyer calling me to tell me that they're not bringing me back next year. But that's not all. The famous show Living Single also faced challenges simply because it starred black actors. Carson's story clearly shows the tough journey black actors have to endure in the industry. They work hard to succeed, but often don't get the recognition they deserve. But uh, I will say it was refreshing being with someone who wasn't afraid to tell me that she enjoyed my company. From the vibrant stages of theater to the dynamic world of television, T.C. Carson's journey was marked by an undeniable passion for the arts. His early career, filled with promise and potential, saw him navigating the complexities of an industry not always welcoming to the stories and voices of black artists. Yet Carson's talent could not be overshadowed, leading him to the role that would define his career, Kyle Barker on Living Single. Before TC, Carson became synonymous with the smooth, jazz-loving Kylie Barker on Living Single. He was a young man with a profound passion for the arts, born and raised in a nurturing environment that encouraged creativity. Carson discovered his love for performance at an early age. His journey into the world of acting and music was not just a path to fame, but a pursuit of expression, a way to channel his experiences, thoughts, and emotions into art. Carson's early years were marked by a voracious appetite for learning and a relentless drive to hone his craft. He immersed himself in the vibrant cultural scene of his hometown, participating in local theater productions and music competitions. These formative experiences were crucial in developing his versatile talents, allowing him to explore the breadth of his abilities in acting, singing, and dancing. Carson's dedication to his craft was evident in his meticulous approach to preparation and his commitment to excellence in every performance. After completing his education, where he further refined his skills and deepened his understanding of the performing arts, Carson made the bold decision to pursue his career in large air, more competitive markets. His journey took him to cities that were hubs for entertainment and creativity, where opportunities for aspiring actors and musicians abounded. It was during this period that Carson faced the realities of the industry. The challenges of auditions, the uncertainty of gigs, and the constant need for resilience in the face of rejection. Yet, it was these very challenges that tested and ultimately strengthened his resolve. Carson's breakthrough came when he landed the role of Kyle Barker on Living Single. This opportunity was not just a testament to his talent, but also a culmination of years of hard work, perseverance, and an unwavering belief in his abilities. Like Kyle Barker, Carson brought a unique blend of charm, wit, and depth to the screen, capturing the hearts of audiences and becoming a beloved figure in American television. His portrayal was not only memorable for its humor and charisma, but also for its representation of a successful, cultured black man, a refreshing and necessary depiction that challenged stereotypes and expanded the narrative around black characters on TV. Beyond living single, Carson's career continued to flourish. He ventured into voice acting, where his distinctive voice brought characters to life in animated series and video games, further showcasing his versatility as an artist. His contributions to theater and music also continued, with performances that reminded audiences of his roots in live entertainment and his profound connection to the arts. Living single was more than a show. It was a movement. 
set in a Brooklyn brownstone. It celebrated the lives, loves, and laughs of black men and women with an authenticity rarely seen on television. And our repeats were still number one for the rest of the year. Nobody even, you know, people just tuned in. Like Kyle Barker, Carson was suave, sophisticated, and hilariously sharp-witted, capturing hearts and embodying a character that resonated deeply with audiences. The show's success was undeniable, yet beneath its triumphs, tensions brewed. Living Single, created by Yvette Lee Bowser, emerged in 1993 as a trailblazer in television, offering a fresh and dynamic portrayal of young black professionals navigating life in a vibrant city. The show, set in a Brooklyn brownstone, revolved around the lives of six friends sharing laughs, love, and the ups and downs of their upwardly mobile journey. This ensemble cast, featuring Queen Latifah, Kim Coles, Erica Alexander, T.C. Carson, John Henton, and Kim Fields, brought to life characters that were not only funny and inspirational, but also deeply relatable and authentic. Bowser's motivation to create Living Single stemmed from a profound sense of obligation and frustration. As a writer on a previous show that featured black characters but lacked black people in power behind the scenes, Bowser felt compelled to forge a new path. Her vision was clear. To create a show that not only entertained but also resonated with the black community, offering representations that were sorely missing on television at the time. Living Single was her response to the industry's glaring oversight, a show that would celebrate the diversity and complexity of black life beyond the stereotypes often portrayed in mainstream media. The inception of Living Single was a bold move, challenging the status quo and setting a new standard for black-led television. Bowser's determination and creative vision were instrumental in bringing the show to life, despite the challenges of navigating an industry that was often resistant to change. The show's success was immediate and unexpected, quickly becoming a beloved hit that captivated audiences with its witty humor, relatable characters, and groundbreaking portrayal of young black professionals. Living Single broke new ground by showcasing a spectrum of black experiences from the professional ambitions of Khadijah James, played by Queen Latifah, to the romantic and comedic escapades of the entire group. The show offered a nuanced exploration of friendship, love, and the pursuit of personal and professional fulfillment, themes that resonated with viewers of all backgrounds. Its impact extended beyond entertainment, contributing to a broader cultural conversation about representation, diversity, and the importance of authentic storytelling. The legacy of Living Single is a testament to Bowser's vision and the collective talent of its cast. The show not only paved the way for future black-led sitcoms, but also left an indelible mark on television history. Its influence can be seen in the shows that followed, challenging the industry to embrace diversity and provide a platform for stories that reflect the richness and complexity of black life. In the vibrant world of 90s television, Living Single emerged as a groundbreaking show, offering a glimpse into the lives of four independent and strong-willed black women and their male counterparts navigating life and love in New York City. T.C. Carson, who brought the suave and sophisticated Kyle Barker to life, became a beloved figure on the show. However, beneath the surface of its success, Carson's journey was marred by challenges that highlighted the systemic issues within Hollywood. The shock of Carson's departure from Living Single sent ripples through its fan base. Rumors swirled, painting him as difficult, a label that, once affixed, is hard to remove. Carson's departure from Living Single was a significant turning point, not just for the show, but for his career. In a revealing interview with Comedy Hype, Carson shared the painful reality of being labeled as difficult to work with, a stigma that has haunted many black actors in the industry. This label, often wielded carelessly and without merit, can have devastating effects on an actor's career, leading to a decrease in opportunities and casting directors viewing them in a negative light. 
Carson recounted instances where rumors about his professionalism were blatantly false, yet they significantly impacted his career trajectory. The accusations of being unprepared and difficult were not only unfounded but also reflective of a broader industry trend where black talent is scrutinized more harshly than their counterparts. This narrative of difficulty is not unique to Carson, but is a shared experience among many black actors who find themselves navigating a landscape rife with bias and inequality. The creation of Living Single by Yvette Lee Bowser was a response to the lack of black voices and stories in mainstream media. Bowser's determination to showcase an all-black cast in a positive and relatable light was revolutionary. Yet the challenges faced by its cast members off-screen underscore the systemic barriers that persist in the entertainment industry. Carson's experience sheds light on the precarious position black actors often find themselves in, caught between the desire to authentically represent their communities and the industry's narrow definitions of professionalism and conduct. His story is a stark reminder of the need for systemic change within Hollywood to create an environment where black talent is nurtured and supported rather than marginalized and labeled. This serves as a call to action for the industry to reevaluate its practices and biases to ensure that black actors are afforded the same opportunities and respect as their peers. Carson's journey, marked by both triumph and tribulation, is a testament to his resilience and talent, underscoring the importance of challenging and changing the narratives that seek to diminish the contributions of black artists in Hollywood. In Hollywood, being labeled as difficult can be a career death sentence, especially for black artists. This stigma not only affects job opportunities but also perpetuates harmful stereotypes. Through interviews and insights, this chapter uncovers the systemic issues that contribute to this labeling, highlighting the need for change in an industry that often fails to support its most vulnerable members. We thought that it was going to keep going because it didn't make sense for the show to end in the middle of the season, number one. The entertainment industry, while a beacon of creativity and storytelling, also mirrors the systemic inequalities and biases that pervade society. The label of being difficult is wielded with devastating effect, particularly against black women whose assertiveness or demands for fair treatment are often misconstrued as problematic behavior. Janet Hubert's ordeal, after being labeled difficult on the set of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, underscores the precarious position black actresses find themselves in. Despite her talent and contribution to the show, Hubert's career suffered significantly due to this stigma. Similarly, Nicole Behari's experience on Sleepy Hollow highlights how quickly the industry can turn on a black actress, sidelining and ultimately dismissing her based on unfounded perceptions of difficulty. These instances are not isolated but part of a pattern where black women in Hollywood are scrutinized and penalized more harshly than their white or male counterparts. This double standard points to a deeply ingrained bias that not only stifles the careers of talented black women, but also silences their voices and contributions. The thread also touches on the experiences of black men in the industry, including T.C. Carson, further illustrating how the label of being difficult is not just a gendered issue, but also one that is racialized. The discussion extends to the impact of these labels on mental health, professional relationships, and the broader narrative around black talent in Hollywood. It calls for a critical examination of industry practices and the need for systemic change to support and uplift black actors rather than marginalize them. It seeks to challenge the industry to reflect on its practices and biases and to advocate for a more inclusive and equitable environment. By highlighting these stories and the discussions they spark, the chapter underscores the importance of solidarity, advocacy, and change in dismantling the barriers that black actors face. This serves as a call to action for the industry to confront its biases 
and to create a space where all actors, regardless of race or gender, can thrive without fear of unjust labels or discrimination. Despite the challenges, Carson's career did not end with living single. From theater to voice acting, his post-show career is a testament to his versatility and resilience. This chapter celebrates his achievements and the diverse roles he embraced, showcasing his enduring impact on the arts. But it was the backlash from people knowing I was fired. And, you know, I gave the company line. T.C. Carson's departure from living single marked a pivotal moment in his career, shedding light on the complexities of navigating Hollywood as a black actor. Carson's candid reflections on the industry's treatment of black talent highlight the double-edged sword of fame and the precarious nature of success for actors of color. Despite the show's popularity and Carson's significant contribution, he found himself battling against a tide of false accusations and stereotypes that threatened to derail his career. Carson's experience is emblematic of the broader challenges faced by the cast of Living Single and many black actors in Hollywood. The industry's readiness to label black actors as difficult or unprepared, based on unfounded rumors, not only impacts their career opportunities but also their personal well-being. Carson's struggle to redeem his reputation and find meaningful roles post-living single underscores the lasting consequences of these labels. His decision to take on roles that did not align with his artistic aspirations, driven by financial necessity, highlights the difficult choices many actors are forced to make in the face of industry bias. Hollywood also appropriated the concept of living single to create Friends, an all-white cast version that received more promotion and resources. This situation illustrates the industry's systemic issues with diversity and inclusion, where shows featuring black casts are often marginalized or overshadowed by those catering to white audiences. The stark polarization between living single and friends in terms of recognition and support from their respective networks reveals the challenges black-led shows face in gaining the same level of acclaim and cultural impact. Despite these obstacles, Living Single remains an iconic sitcom that broke new ground in television by portraying young black professionals navigating life in New York City. The show's legacy, rooted in Yvette Lee Bowser's vision and the dynamic ensemble cast, continues to resonate with audiences, highlighting the importance of authentic and well-rounded depictions of black people on screen. The series not only challenged stereotypes, but also celebrated the diversity of experiences within the black community, offering a refreshing representation of friendship, love, and professional aspirations. As Carson and the cast of Living Single navigated the aftermath of the show's conclusion, their journeys reflect the broader narrative of black actors striving for recognition and opportunities in an industry that often fails to support them. Carson's story, along with those of his co-stars, serves as a powerful testament to the resilience and talent of black actors in the face of industry challenges. Behind the laughter and memorable moments, Carson's journey was one of personal triumphs and struggles. This chapter shares intimate stories of his life, emphasizing the emotional toll of his experiences and the strength required to navigate the challenges of Hollywood. In the aftermath of his departure from Living Single, T.C. Carson faced an uphill battle not just professionally, but emotionally. The video reveals Carson's candid reflections on the impact of being falsely accused and labeled within the industry. These accusations, which he vehemently denies, painted a picture of him that was far removed from the truth, leading to a period where he was unjustly blackballed and found it challenging to secure roles that matched his talent and passion. Carson's recount of an audition where he was confronted with rumors about his professionalism is particularly telling. His decision to walk away from the audition after being questioned about his alleged difficult behavior underscores the dignity and self-respect he chose to maintain in the face of baseless allegations. This moment was not just a turning point, but a testament to Carson's character and his refusal 
to let unfounded rumors define him. The emotional toll of these experiences on Carson was profound. He describes the devastation of having his reputation tarnished by lies, a sentiment that resonates with many black actors who find themselves navigating similar challenges. Despite these obstacles, Carson's story is one of resilience. His ability to persevere, to continue pursuing his craft in the face of adversity, speaks volumes about his strength and dedication to his art. Carson's journey post-living single also highlights the broader issue of the lack of support and opportunities for black actors in Hollywood. The video touches on the trend where talented black actors like Carson often find themselves without a machine to support their careers, leading to limited opportunities and visibility. This systemic issue is a stark reminder of the need for the industry to create more inclusive and equitable pathways for black talent. Despite these challenges, Carson's legacy extends beyond his role in Living Single. His contributions to the arts, his unwavering commitment to integrity, and his ability to inspire others through his journey are integral parts of his story. Carson's experiences shed light on the resilience required to navigate Hollywood as a black actor and the importance of maintaining one's integrity in the face of adversity. TC. Carson's story is a poignant reminder of the complexities of fame and the resilience required to withstand its pressures. As we reflect on his journey, let us also consider the broader narrative of black artists in Hollywood and the urgent need for an industry that celebrates diversity, supports its artists, and recognizes the profound impact of its labels. Carson's legacy, marked by both heartbreak and triumph, serves as a powerful call to action, a call for understanding, inclusion, and change. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching.